What's going on guys? It's the Black Love here and I'm going to give you a comic book review of Batman Inc. Leviathan Strikes. And I felt it appropriate to add some Arkham City gameplay while wearing the Batman Inc. skin. Now, if anyone plays the game and doesn't have it, it's a free skin. You don't have to pay for it. You can just download it from the marketplace. They offered it over the holidays for free. Now, on to Leviathan Strikes. This book is pretty much two oversized issues in one trade. The first issue deals with Stephanie Brown at a boarding school for assassins. Now this boarding school is obviously run by Leviathan and it looks like a normal boarding school. They wear uniforms, all young girls. The only difference is they train in firearms, explosives, and how to kill. <laughs> now to top that off, I found this kind of funny. All of their instructors were modeled after pop stars right now. Like one is modeled after Lady Gaga, one is modeled after Rihanna, uh, one I believe is Madonna, and the other one I think Katy Perry. Yeah, Grant Morrison has a sense of humor. Anyway, this issue was a really great swan song for Stephanie Brown as Bad Girl. If anyone actually enjoyed the book, this is a good going away present, seeing as she's not mentioned in the New 52 at all. We don't see her, we don't have any mention of her, and as you know, Barbara Gordon is back to being Batgirl. But anyway, in this issue, we get to see her undercover and how she deals with infiltrating and eventually taking down the boarding school. Now, we do get a nice cameo appearance from Bruce at the end of this issue. And it actually goes to help her character development in the sense that Bruce actually shows how much he trusts her and how he can rely on her. And he even mentions that and she uh, she goes ahead and in her thought bubbles talks about how it really made her happy to know that she can be trusted and relied on. We all know that when she was spoiler she she had a lot of screw ups. I mean she got Orpheus killed, she caused the, <laughs> she caused the big gang war in war games. So it's really great to see how her character has grown into a great Batgirl, and this was a great going away issue. Um, moving on, the second half of this book is the biggest deal. It's where the book gets its namesake from, Leviathan Strikes. We finally find out who's behind Leviathan, how large they are and what's going to come in 2012 or this year. Now I'm gonna try not to have too many spoilers but it's a little hard to talk about this book and give a really honest good review of it without giving away some spoilers. First it starts off we get to see Bruce, Dick, Tim, and Damien all inside of this big maze-like trap set up by Dr. Nets. It's on this ship called Leviathan and in this maze there are mind altering substances given to Bruce, there's different doors that lead to different rooms that are all traps and in each one of them there's a different version of Dr. Nets which is really just an, either an android or some type of a uh, statue but to the more important part eventually we get to see El Gaucho and we find out whose side he's on um, you know that Having that happen, we we already knew that he worked for that uh, that spy organization with Kathy Kane, and we didn't know whose side he would be on. But we get to see that he's actually a really loyal friend of Bruce, and he actually almost dies in the process of saving Bruce. Now we get the reveal of who Leviathan is, and we also see that there's a plan in order from Leviathan to start attacking and killing all the Batman Inc. members. We even get to see that some of them are already hurt, down, being chased down, hunted, trapped, and in the end, we know that there is an all-out war about to be waged between Batman Inc. and Leviathan. I'm not going to tell you who Leviathan is because that would just completely ruin the rest of the issue for you, but... The identity of Leviathan has clearly been teased since the very beginning of Grant Morrison's run with Batman and Son. You read that story, and you read Leviathan Strikes, you'll sit there and scratch your head and wonder, 
How could you not see the writing on the wall? This whole battle in Leviathan Strikes and what's going to come has pretty much been foreshadowed from the beginning of Grant Morrison's run. And yes, Damien is also a very central character in this whole thing. So, like I mentioned earlier, we know that Batman Inc. is going to be returning. And we also know that it's going to take place in the New 52. It's going to include Batwing, it's going to include um, Batgirl, Nightwing. The way I see it, even though it's only going to be in one book, which is Batman Inc., the fact that it's an ongoing will make up for the fact that this is not a big crossover event. They already announced what the Batman crossover event for the year is going to be. And that's going to be a uh, Court of Owls crossover. So even though this, this is going to take place in the New 52, they're going to leave it as a standalone ongoing. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've been reading ba uh, the Batman run with Grant Morrison from the beginning, even throughout R.I.P., <laughs> My YouTube channel name, my gamer tag, all that, the Black Love, that's actually based off of the Grant Morrison run of Batman. You can tell I'm a big Batman fan. But yeah, I'm looking forward to what's coming in 2012, well, this year. I really want to see a good end to the story. I kind of felt gypped, like many of you did, when the DCU got rebooted and we knew there was no more. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the gameplay, hope you enjoyed this review. I look forward to the book, and I hope you do too.